everybody, Maction here, and at high resolution, they've got a digital sound processor, an inline digital sound processor used to help the sound that's going to be playing from your mobile devices, your tablets, your phones, and uh, heck, even your laptops. Michael has joined me today to tell us a little bit about the, uh, about the inline DSP and what it brings to the table. Michael, thank you for joining us. Absolutely, Andrew. A real pleasure to be here. Well, it's our pleasure to be here. So what can you tell us about the inline D DSP? Well, the DSP was developed for uh, the reality that people are going mobile and that they would like to listen to their music on the go. And specifically that uh, a number of companies, including Beats and others, have improved the headphone uh, response and uh, improve the listening situation over earbuds. Mm -hmm. And so the DSP really is intended to take that to the next level, making your earphone, your headphones sound even better. Mm -hmm. So now I can see that these DSP items, they, uh, they do plug in via, for example, we've got uh, uh, the micro USB ports here. Um, we've also got lightning connectors and full-sized USB ports for use with, uh, with even computers. But on the opposite side, it plugs into your standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Digital sound processing is very important as a way of getting the best possible signal you can mm -hmm. to the headphones to make that experience as good as possible. Mm -hmm. So, What sort of additions does it, does it make over what you're getting from, say, any given mobile device? So if you were able to do the, uh, the AB, if you will, which I think you've already done, what happens straight out of your mobile device or your computer is, even with a good pair of Beats headphones or others, um, you get a reasonably good experience. But when you connect the DSP in line between the two, you get better digital analog uh, conversion, you get better amplification for the headphones, the impedances are better matched, and that gives a much better experience because you get uh, more richness. Uh, it allows the headphone to deliver more of the information that's actually in the recording. So at the current moment, I had an opportunity to go ahead and, and sample these, and I can say that it does make quite a difference, even on some of the high-quality headphones from the name brands that, uh, that it was being demoed on. Tried some on some Beats, tried some on some, uh, some Sony headphones as well, some Sony surrounds. And it does certainly make, uh, uh, make a difference. The sound, you know, it, it seems to have a deeper bit rate and, and some other things. I won't go into the technicals because I'm, I'm crap talking about those. But, um, but how long long has this product been in development? Well, um, we've been developing this for about the last six months once we realized that mobile was the way that we wanted to go. Mm -hmm. And um, we've partnered with Microchip uh, as a front end and uh, they've been wonderful in supporting us. So uh, it's really come to a head here at the Consumer Electronics Show. Uh, availability is first quarter, mm -hmm. and uh, the great part about this product that makes us so excited is its affordability. The suggested retail price is $69.99. Um, our plan is to make it available direct on Amazon, so make it easy for people to buy. Uh, so we're really excited to be able to uh, join with all the great headphone people that are making great devices so that we can help improve that listening experience. Nice.